Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Under Norman Lecoq, I'm trying to finish this piece I've been working on for quite a while. I had some other uh, portraits and paintings I had to do, and I had to put this one more or less on a back burner, as they say. What I'm doing right now is putting some shadows and contrast in the rope behind this rope right here to give it that more realistic look. Just some subtleness, you know. I'm using liquid to uh, go with the details in, to thin the paint to a consistency that it's, it's pretty fluid to work with. Yeah, it's more or less what I'm doing. A little subtle detail makes makes these paintings pop. Anyone have any questions? Uh, again. Feel free to call me, text me, email me. Any new projects you're working on, I'll be glad to give you some advice that if I don't know, we can work together and find out somebody who, who may, may know, more or less. After working on paintings such as this one here, what I normally do, after these paintings start to dry for a while and you leave them alone and come back to them, you can see different aspects of the painting and you can go back over it and correct some things that may need to be corrected. So sometimes it's good to put a painting down and come back and rework it and just to see and you'd be surprised what you what your eye can pick up from that. My old saying, always follow your roadmaps. They always lead you to the right direction most of the time. Especially with these paintings or drawings you may have. This is not going to be a long, intense video. A little short one. Just to show you some steps I've, I've taken to complete this painting. And as you can see over in this section here, it's the same rope continuing on down. And what I do from time to time you look at your drawing or painting and visualize. You can put your own little, little twist to your paintings. It's your paintings. And 
once you do that, you can see where your painting's going. Like right now, I'm just putting just some small variations. I don't know if you, my camera can pick this up. Just to show that light is reflecting off the outer skirts of the rope. Remember what I spoke of earlier? Cast shadows, reflection shadow, and surface shadows. That's virtually going to apply to anything. But little subtleness like this here can make or break your painting or drawing. It just gives it that roundness, more or less. Again, if anyone has any questions, be free to call or text and leave, leave some comments what you think about this or what would you like to see more of. I'm using a small mixture of gray with this right here. It's not white, it's gray. Just give that rope that contour I'm looking for. And some sand, the color sand. Just loading my brush right now. Now I added a little more white to the sand. See, I'm pulling that down right here. Let it flow. See the difference that, that rope has taken in that short, short period of time? Now, what I'm going to do is put some little striations in that rope. 